All right, so I have my juicer completely all the way apart. This is how you would receive it in the box when you buy it. And I figured I would show you all the different parts and how to put it back together again. So this is the main base um, of your juicer and it actually has suction cups on the bottom of it. So that way, if you can see that, it does not move. It suctions down to your countertop, which is really nice and it keeps it from moving around when your juice is coming out. So the next little section is this, and this is actually where the spout for your juice comes out. And it just sits down into that part. You will take this part off um, when you're ready for you know, your juice. That sits in there. This is your blade part, um, or the part that you know your fruits or whatever you are using to juice is going to be in and it sits down in that base and you want to make sure it is pushed all the way down so it's not going to come out when you reach up onto it so there's that part the next part is the lid and it looks like this and this is obviously where you'll put all of your fruit and such in and it goes on to the top that and then I'm going to take that off though so I can show you the back part. This back part right here is where all of your pulp will go when you are, you know, juicing your fruit. And it just kind of slides underneath. Let's move the cord out of the way first. There we go. So it just slides underneath and sits like that in the back. And then the lid part is going to sit on top of it. And you want to make sure that it is fitting on top of the black the black thing in the back, which is where all of your pulp will come out. Now, it is kind of loose when you um, just put it on, but that is what this is for. This actually comes up over, and it snaps on on both sides. So, now that can't really move, and that's pushed down, and you don't have to worry about it. So the top part right here, this is this part, and this is the help, you know, push the fruit or whatever veggies you are using to juice down. And then you do get a cup that comes with it, and it actually has a spout part for when you are juicing. It just fits right on it like that. So that is the complete juicer and all what it looks like. And now we can go ahead and start juicing. Alright, so before you start juicing, you want to make sure that you remember to remove this. The first time I used it, I actually forgot to remove that. And yeah, make sure you remove that. And then you can slide your pitcher right underneath. On the side right here, you will see the knob. And there's two settings, one for one and one for two. And the one thing I will say about this juicer, and I'm going to turn it on for you guys so you can see it, it is very loud. So... Don't be surprised. Um, if you want a quiet juicer, I would not recommend buying this one. It is extremely, extremely loud. And another thing about this juicer, it is pretty bulky and heavy. I know most juicers are kind of like big, but that's just something else to take into account um, if you have a limited space to place the juicer. So I'm going to turn it on just so you guys can hear it and see what it sounds like before I put any fruit in. Okay, so that was on level one, and I didn't even put it on level two. And now it's waiting for it to come back down. So you can see in there, the blade is still spinning. Um, that was level one. I did not put it up to level two. I can't imagine why you would need level two unless you are seriously like sticking a ton of stuff into this juicer. But like I said, it is very loud. It does kind of move a tiny little bit, although it has suction cups on the bottom. When you first turn it on, I like to hold the pitcher because this kind of moves around a little bit when you first turn it on. I think it's due to the rumblings and it kind of vibrates the countertop. But other than that, um, we can go ahead and move on to start juicing some items. All right, so in order to use the juicer, I am going to be juicing some apples. So I have three apples here that I have peeled and chopped up into kind of like chunks and I am going to start putting them into my juicer so I'm going to take this part off and I'm actually just going to put all of my apples down in here and I'm going to do that before I turn it on um, this is just something that I have found works a little bit better with this particular juicer and 
yeah so I'm just gonna continue putting all of my apples in here and then we can push the um, top part back down on here and we can turn this on so there you go I have all of my apples in there I might have filled it up a little bit too far so we're gonna put that on and I'm going to turn this on and I'm gonna put you guys down so you can see all the juice that comes into it so I am going to turn it on it's gonna be kind of loud and you're probably not gonna be able to hear me so I am just going to push down the top part and turn it on and we can juice but when I turn it off the majority of the juice um, seems to come out so when I am pushing all the apples like you know down in here that way it only puts out a little bit of juice but then the rest of the juice comes kind of like really fast out when I turn it off so I don't know if that's common with juicers this is the only juicer I've ever used but that is how much juice I got out of three apples. It's not too much, but we can pour it into a glass now. All right, there you go. There is my freshly squeezed apple juice. It's how much juice it makes. I'm still amazed at like how little juice you get out of juicing fruits, um, but I guess that's not too bad. But I'm going to show you the inside of this now, what it looks like after you have juiced your items. So obviously there's that part that we can pour out. And if you can see, a lot of it is still on like the hood. When you take that off, you know, it's all under there. And in that back part down there is all of like the pulp and such. And you know, the big pieces of the fruit that did not get juiced out. So that is how you make the juice. I'm gonna show you real quick um, what it came with in order to clean it up because you do have to clean it, um, washing it by hand. All right, so in order to clean them, we have this part that I just removed. It actually came with this little brush and it is really nice for cleaning because, a little water on there, because when you're cleaning it, you can just take the brush and you brush out those and it gets down into all of the little holes and gets everything like out of them. So it makes it really easy to clean up. So you do have to hand wash everything, but like I said, it's not too difficult. You know, I have to wash that and that, you know, in the pitcher. This entire part comes out and then, you know, you can dispose of the rest of the apple pieces that come out there. So this is kind of the juicer um, and kind of the first impressions of it. Alright, so I have my juicer completely all the way apart. This is how you would receive it in the box when you buy it. And I figured I would show you all the different parts and how to put it back together again. So this is the main base um, of your juicer and it actually has suction cups on the bottom of it. So that way, if you can see that, it does not move. It suctions down to your countertop, which is really nice and it keeps it from moving around when your juice is coming out. So the next little section is this, and this is actually where the spout for your juice comes out. And it just sits down into that part. You will take this part off um, when you're ready for you know, your juice. 